I think Ramondre Stevenson is probably the most intriguing one to talk about because he's the biggest riser out of any of these guys. Uh, I think like the a big tell for me that like he's in for a really interesting pre-draft process. He weighed in at 228. For those of you who don't know, I thought it was like 246 or something. He he weighed in at like I guess on Oklahoma's website before his, before the season 247. So, which I didn't think he looked that big. I was like, that must be a I mean, ton that's a of big muscle. Boy, right? That's a big boy. Compact. That's a big boy. But I mean, that I mean, that's a big. You know, that's huge, right? I mean, like for his overall, I guess outlook. I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, you don't for I mean, him to drop down to two. Yeah. What did you two, say? He dropped down to two twenty eight. Um, that's huge, and I think there's a lot to like about him. I mean, I think you know, even at his playing weight, he I think he played right around two forty. Um, he was a junior college transfer, averaged nine and a half yards a carry and 2,100 yards in junior college. Like phenomenal. He like on like probably the second best junior college running back prospect that they, I guess, Juco has had since Camara. Mm-hmm. Um, but he made a big jump as a receiver from, from his first year out of junior college. to so second being this season, he had no games over 30 receiving yards in 2019 in 12 games. And he had three out of the six games this year. He had over re- he had over 30 receiving yards and obviously only six games. So we saw that jump as a receiver for him, um, which is a big deal being now 228 pounds, being a, being a bigger back. Um, that was a big deal. And he had over 90 yards, 90 total yards or more in every game he played this year. Um, and he looked the part of an NFL running back. And I think for him, it's going to draft capital is going to be a tell of what the NFL really thinks of him. He's a guy that some people are saying can rise up into early day two. Uh, I don't, I could, I actually could see that. I don't think he's that high, but maybe you no know, wait second round, but he's a guy who can move up, up, up with, with a strong senior bowl. And I think that's going to be a big deal for him is really, really showing that he is a, you know, a, a true three down threat at this senior bowl and kind of outplaying some of those big names that are down there right now. Yeah. Well, me and Oklahoma right now, we're broken up on drafting Oklahoma running backs, but um, I think and include like Trey Sermon. Like I like the guy. We're gonna talk about him in a minute. Another Oklahoma running back who's just damaged goods. Rodney Anderson damaged goods. Oh, Rodney Demage Anderson. P. Ryan oh, broke my heart. Hurts. Like hurts. Joe Mixon, love the guy. Still drafting him, but WTF? Like just right. But I don't know. I'm I'm kind of trying to stay out of this as much as I can because I don't know. I haven't seen very much uh, Stevenson. No, he's he's a, he's a good player, man. He's, you know, he's Rattler good. struggled. Jay, what do you think? Struggled in early, but I'm super uh, interested in Stevenson. Um, I think that's very. Uh, I think you saying that he cut that weight. I don't know that he actually played at that heavy at Oklahoma because, like I was saying, he didn't look 246. Like he looked Dude, 246. Is that's a, I, I would say around. I'd say 235 to 240. He played at. And that's and that's like, that, it. Must be a lot big of boy. muscle though because he's. He's all his ass. Back. He's thick. Um, so and he's for a him, big boy. For him to move huh, like he does. Um, I'll drink for that one. He uh, he's 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 a fast big guy. Um, yeah, I think, he is faster big guy. I think the acceleration is pretty good, and the overall speed for as big as he is is really well. Um, I I like his patience that he exhibits. Um, I think he sees the field well. I, I'm impressed with the vision. Um, sometimes I could question the balance, but then there's other times where it's like, man, he he did show some good contact balance. I um, mean, he's deliberate about getting north and south, and that that momentum builds so quickly. And then he's he's tough. He's a tough dude to deal with when he gets rolling. Um, well, he and fucking then should be to show that that um well, but but he but he's he doesn't just rant, you know it's kind of like AJ Dillon. We people knocked him for not showing as much power, and it's like if he just ran into the three yards in a cloud of dust every time you'd be mad that that's all he did um and and we said you know that dylan had sweeter feet than what that type of size of a dude would show and i think the same can be said for stevenson the way that, that he moves around um he, he he does get caught um from behind but he he can bust off 50 60 yard runs yeah he's and, not slow he's he's he's, he's not right. slow the height adjusted speed score, which now if he's down to 228 might not be as high, but I was, I was shooting for like the 110th percentile or something <laughs> uh, for that, but not super intrigued. And, and like you said, I think he showed some good hands. There were some good catches. Yeah, there. no, he's um, average receiver. three catches a game yeah. last year. Not, not a ton, but like we say here all the time, 
he can catch and all these dudes can. And that's all I need is a couple dump downs. If you're going to be uh, that type of runner where he's going to be getting goal line situations and, and, and he can, he could potentially be a three down back. I mean, I want to have him higher than I do. And I don't necessarily know where I have him, but I am super intrigued. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, you know, he's going to be a player that's going to be interesting to watch the senior bowl Saturday. Um, what he does and how he looks against those guys is going to be important. 